So what is going on everybody? Welcome to your 36th annual application development tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is show you how you can instead of showing a stupid toast on clicking your list item you could actually open the URL of uh, uh, the link associated with this thing right so for this we need to make a little bit of change and just say private string uh, uh, this is a news URL and then we need to get this one in the constructor as well so string news URL not desk URL actually so now right here I'm gonna say this dot news url is a uh, news url or well wait a minute oh well, actually we do have that thing well didn't realize that so don't need to do anything right there well we do have url and we have uh, the setter for the getter for it as well so it's pretty simple to do now what we have to do all is uh, Where's the on click function? Well, actually, I actually want to split this code as well into functions because it's becoming kind of messy, right? So, what we can do is uh, I can uh, take all of this code right there and uh, all of this code, right? And uh, this one as well. And I could say that this is my private void um, let's just say engine and uh, paste all this code and right here I'm just gonna call in engine simple enough then we can do the same thing or should we well actually let's just leave the view one as it is because there's not a lot of code inside this so now what I was going to do I actually forgot well what we were going to do yeah we were taking a URL and just making it uh, uh, kinda clickable so let's just move this thing out as well and say private void add click listener and say that this is uh, this thing and you could just actually move it on the top as well if you want to kind of optimize your code and I'm gonna say this as add click listener as well so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna say that uh, my string URL first of all I need to get in this uh, thing which we are actually clicking so we can just make use of that thing from right there right so I'm gonna say this is news item current item is newsfeed dot get position so it would just give me that particular item then I'm gonna say my intent I and I'm gonna launch an intent because I want to start browser so it's kind of an intent it's passing from one activity to another which is actually an activity of another application in this case so this is a new intent and uh, inside here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write intent dot action view right so this one is used to kind of launch browser with the use of i dot set data and inside here you have to pass in your url so i'm gonna say uri dot parse and uri is kind of url uri is uniform resource indicator url is locator it's kind of one and the same thing and then i want to pass in url well what is the url well we have current item dot get URL simple as that all right so we are good to go and uh, let's just see that thing in action so it's just performing full build and install and it should probably add every build 
okay so here we go and I click on the first one and boom nothing happens well well um just let's just make the toast that I am here at least well well you know what I want to hit myself with a strong break seriously okay so click here boom browser opened with the story link and uh, it should probably just open if I am not having issues with my internet again yes it does so it's kind of performed there redirect and here you can see all that good stuff well you can actually create an app where you can just click on it and it just pops down we do have expanded list and uh, we do have content for that as well so you can just go ahead and try that out and what we are left with is that we didn't make use of um, these things right we didn't make use of this time date and uh, yeah I guess that's pretty much it what we made not made use of and this news description as well so what I want you guys to do is uh, I want you to download this application source code I'm gonna leave the link for this repository in the description and I want you to make changes in this code and especially in this item.xml to include a date and time field right here somewhere and adjust description such that it doesn't cross them and uh, I want you to try this on your devices as well and uh, pretty much uh, if you face any sort of layout issue then point it to me because uh, right now I'm just gonna leave this application right here and I'm gonna leave most of the work to you guys so I have just given you a start so you can just finish this application and uh, Yes, you can switch this to um, a URL actually as well. Where is it? Right now, as you can see that I'm making use of a static file instead of API because on localhost, my API scanner is not working. And on the live URL, I have restricted it to localhost port 80 access only. So I might probably change that to localhost only if you want me to. And then you will be good to go to access that so yeah so let's just just leave your comments in the description below well actually you can't leave comments in description well anyways you know you get the idea how you have to proceed now so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching